What's going on, everybody? Welcome to GMI's World. And what we're going to be doing right now is going over where some of the uh, more recent um, Easter promo hidden eggs and all that stuff is, right? So look, pretty much today there's no silver. Let me first go into the store and make sure that there's none hidden someplace in here. Um, I didn't check inside here. But I will tell you this, guys. What happened was I told you guys how I've been doing it so that you don't have to go individually through the sets. And the one that's hidden today inside the sets is actually you need a gold token for it. I don't even know where it is. I just put the gold. I just went to, I'm going to show you what I did to find it. And um, I'm talking about today as of March 31st, 2018. All right. So if you're watching it at this point, that's exactly what I'm talking about. March 31st, 2018. Um, there isn't one that was available for this. Well, let me go to teams. Why did not I go to teams first? Let me make sure everything has been checked to see if anything was in the store. Okay. So there's nothing in here with the store. Okay. So this is what I did, right? The solo is very obvious because when you go to solo challenges, you see it. It's in the NFL playoffs. Like it was 13 of 13. Now it's 13 of 14. So it's right there inside the uh, NFL challenge. So you shouldn't have, um, you know, the NFL playoff challenges. So you shouldn't have any issue finding this one. All right. Now, the only other one I was able to find, what I did was I, I already had a gold token made. So the same way that I figured out that there was nothing for the silver tokens is how I did it for the gold token. I don't even know where exactly it is. All you have to do, though, is make a gold token or buy a gold token, make a silver token or buy a, buy a gold a silver token, and then just click it, and it's going to be at the top. When you click it, it's going to be one of those things. You see, I already made all the other ones. That's where it's going to be. So you'll know by getting a gold token you know, that there is an Easter scramble egg, and then it was, it was for four. I believe it was for four eggs, right? I think because I got these today, right? Let me just make sure I got these today. Uh, 3:30. So I didn't even open it yet. I don't. I didn't. Did I open it? Let me. Let me see if I opened it. Hold on. Uh, unopened packs, just to make sure, because it was four of them. It, when you use the gold, yeah, there it goes. So that's what you're gonna get, right? And this was from the gold, a gold token that I put into a set. And I, like I said, I don't know where exactly it is, but I don't want you guys wasting your time trying to go through each and every set. Just make a gold token or buy one. Make a silver token or buy one, and click on it inside your uh your items. Uh, your item binder, and it'll show you at the top whichever one. And just put it in the set, and then it'll come up as the reward. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to open this up real quick, all right? Um, we're going to get our four eggs, and then I'm going to explain to you what, what you're supposed to be doing with it. Now, the best thing that you can do with it, in my opinion, is just... I was selling my uh, my tortoises for about eleven five a pop, right? So what I've been doing with my Easter eggs has been... I've been making tortoises. Now, you can save up for hairs with 14... I just don't think it's necessary. Let me see how much I have right now. Um, I don't even have 14. I only have 10. All right? But that's five. That's five of these players, which is about, you know, 55, 60K, whatever, um, depending on how you sell them off with the tortoises. Uh, it's just easier to make the coins. Now, with this right here, you could have already... People were asking me, how do people have these captains, these Easter Scramble Hunt captains? I don't know if they can pull them. I don't know what the situation is, but there are a lot on the auction house. I don't know how people are doing it, okay? Um, I, I would say, you, you know, maybe they're doing farm accounts and transferring cards and, you know, making eggs and all that kind of... I, I don't know what they're doing, bro. Like, I can't... I have no idea what they're doing and how it's already available with the amount of eggs that's been out. But if you can't pull it, I'm pretty sure somebody figured out a way to do it because I don't think the eggs are transferable. And even... Or maybe if you... Yeah, I, I don't know how they would do that because let me go to the eggs real quick and make sure. I don't think you could trade them. Can you? Let me make sure about that because I was asked that question and I like to, you know, see, give you guys as much information as possible. I don't think EA will allow you to trade it. Yeah, it's just eligible for sets. So I don't know how they got 60, even if they had a farm account, you know, guys making like 35 accounts or whatever like that. I don't know how they did that. But that's pretty much what's available right now. Now, before that, like I said, if you wanted to do all of them at the same time, you can use the silver tokens and, and you can see how many are left. Use the gold token, see how many are left by clicking on it in your item binder. And then if you are backed up, like if you're backdated and watching this video at a later date, make sure you get all those things. As far as the solos go, um, so far they have been inside, obviously the Easter Scramble has been there. Um, there was one inside uh, the Chemistry. Uh, there was one inside the Chronicles of Longshot. And there were two inside the Madden Classic. All right, but you can watch my previous videos about all the Easter promo and you can find out what's going on with it. So what I'm going to do is uh, people have also been asking, you know, uh, yo, they got three minute quarters. It's on competitive mode. Like, what do you do, bro? You go. With, if, listen, guys, 
you should be able to beat the computer on competitive mode, okay? In a three-minute quarter game, whatever, it doesn't matter if you get the ball, they get the ball. You guys should be able to take care of this with no issue. This should be absolutely no problem, no matter if you just pick the game up, all right? Because right now, a lot of the cards are so, um, they're so over the top. Like, the, all these overalls, you're getting so many free cards. There's so many different things that they're doing to make your team so high overall. There really isn't any reason for anyone to not be getting, you know, a decent team. Plus, if you guys have recently got the game, you should be playing boss battles so that you could get your boss your boss trophies, and then you're going to be getting a 99 overall for free then. Um, with the uh, trade-in, the free uh, legend trade-in or whatever they had with the ultimate legend, you get a free ultimate legend there. I see some guys pulling, you know, Brian Dawkins and things like that. So there, there are different ways to get your team better right now. So there's like pros and cons to getting the game later, but honestly... If you watch my videos about making coins, you watch my videos about how I take care of the sets, what I do to make whatever whatever the promo is and how to make coins, I lay it out for you guys. So if you guys just follow the instructions, bro, and, and go through it, you guys are going to be millionaires in no time regardless of when you got the game. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Chew Clock, which is the left trigger you see on the bottom left right there, how I clicked it to Chew Clock, and you're just going to run whatever. Bro, you can run stretch every play. It The computer... They don't really react usually to uh, to stretch, like it doesn't even matter. Like I just did the boss, um, the boss, the ultimate boss thing, whatever, and then all the jukes and everything work for some reason in competitive mode offline. But when you play online, it doesn't. You understand what I'm saying? Like that same juke, somebody would have just ramrodded me in, in, like right into the turf. And then what you see, like how it goes down to ten seconds, and you just keep you keep hiking the ball. Maybe right here you want to flip the play. Not flip it, but just change the direction because it's so stacked on that side. And you want to run, you know, this way. You see how the computer just won't tackle you? It's very, very easy. If you come out and you try to pass the ball, it is not like uh, the other modes, arcade uh, or sim. The computer will intercept you in competitive mode. That's the only thing that's different. They'll intercept the ball. You know what I'm saying? So you, why are you coming out, unless you're trying to do uh, the night train lane, which I wouldn't recommend, you gain the yards in a competitive mode solo, find one on arcade or worst case scenario sim and follow the tutorial that I have right here on YouTube to get the 25,000 yards to get the ultimate master. I would never recommend you do it on um, on competitive because the computer is going to be a little bit more geared to cheating you. And that's what I try to avoid because that creates a lot more frustration for my viewers. And I don't want you to feel like, oh, yo, bro, you know, you know, I'm a terrible player. Like, listen. We, regardless of how we treat other people, like you know, we, we play around with them during the game and we say that they're garbage. We know that this game is not gameplay wise one of the best Maddens, in my opinion. But I want you guys to enjoy it regardless. So we all joke around, we all have fun. I talk trash to my opponent, you know, yeah, you garbage, whatever, like that. But after the game, it's good game. It's all in the fun of the game. I'm not leaving the game like, yeah, bro, that guy, you know, he's really trash. Now, I don't care about that. All right. So when you're saying that you're you're having trouble with the solos. Don't feel like, you know, you're the only person having trouble with the solo. A lot of people have trouble with solos. What I'm saying is that you should not. And I always show you why you should not. I don't just say, you know, like, yo, bro, you shouldn't. What are you doing? I show you because I play the solos the same way you guys do. And I make sure I find plays that the computer, uh, they, they just, they can't, they, I don't know what they do. But if you keep running stretch, they'll just start getting out of your way. It gets really weird. Like, they'll just start moving right out the way, bro. It's like really stupid. Um, and if you if you don't want to run it like that, you can always go to more pitch. The computer can't stop more pitch. And if you don't know what more pitch is, I'll show you in a second. Um, but more pitch is pretty much, you know, you can't really stop it online. You can't stop it with the computer. Um, the stretch plays and the pitch plays are pretty much, that's Madden 18 for you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to either have a guy running stretch or running pitch all over your life and just destroying your world. That's pretty much what's going to happen. So um, more pitch is, you know, right here, single back tight slots. Let me just put Bo Jackson at the fullback right there. And Michael Irvin, I'm going to replace with Steve Atwater out of position because of his 90 impact block. And I'm just going to run more pitch, bro. Um, obviously, because I have on shoe clock, it goes down to 10 seconds. So I don't think I'm going to have time to motion that guy over. But it doesn't usually matter. Everybody usually gets pancaked like that against the computer. Like, it's really easy. When you play a real user, they're going to run around the edge and try to make that play. So just because it happens like that to the computer... Don't think it's going to happen against a human opponent. That's all I have to urge you with. I want you guys to be very, very aware of that. So you're like, yo, bro, I try to do it on a human. It works, but you're going to need to motion that guy most of the time to get that key block. That's just the way it is. It's going to always be like that. 
Um, if you play somebody that, that's just a complete and utter idiot, which is usually what you run into, especially in weekend league, sometimes you don't have to motion. But the motion really, really does help it. All right. So if you experiment with experimenting with running more pitch, I did have a video that I released. Um, what was that? That was in uh, how, how, how long ago was that? That was like in September of 2017, uh, showing you guys exactly how I run it. Um, so it, it's pretty much it's like uh, the, the, uh, a money play. It's like money play or something like that. Um, an unstoppable run play. If you guys need the link, I'll give you guys that. Not a big deal. But yeah, running more pitch is life, bro. LT, take care of that real quick. And um, all you have to do now, once you sack the computer, oh, he tried. To, what is that about? Whoa, 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 LT. Yo, bro, he must be on. He must be on something, bro. Look, bro, they really trying to score? They're not gonna let the clock run down? Wow. The, the, the computers get more competitive. They usually don't do that. They usually do not. Uh, did he just? Oh, come on. Is that a Dominican Sue? This guy is a freaking. What, what? What is that guy's um penalty trait? What? What? What's his trait? Uh, disciplined. I gotta go look it up. Because he's been doing this a lot more often than usual. And especially when he's on balance. But I, but never run on conservative. Because conservative just ruins your D-line for some reason. Like, they just stand there like idiots. It, it, it's a lot worse than it has to be, pretty much, um, when you when you run it on uh, the conservative. Like, you know, it, it's just weird. All right, so he's going to stand there and get sacked. Okay, so he didn't get sacked. The ball came out. All right, thank you, EA. So now they should probably just be running the ball. I don't think they're going to come out passing again. Yeah, so this is a run play. When you see like the two one two and you have them below the thirty, they're usually going to come out in a run play. So you can just play whatever. I, I'll just audible to cover three, and just sit there, let them run the ball or whatever like that, and then we'll go to the half. And then they get the ball back. You don't need to score anymore though, okay? And a lot, a lot of the reason why this solo is still going on is because I'm actively explaining to you how to get through it quickly for some of the viewers that have asked. All right? I like to, you know, every now and again, maybe, you know. Once every month, I'll, I'll go through it and show people exactly what they need to do. But for the most part, if you're a new viewer, just check out my, my, my recent videos about it. I usually talk about it in other videos, all right? So now that you've seen exactly what's going on, right? Bam, that's over. They're going to get the ball back. We're going to lock up the same way. And then pretty much it's on chew clock. So we should get through the third quarter fast regardless. Uh, the other thing you I always try to let you guys understand is this, right? If you're not up by 17 or more the computer's gonna call timeouts, all right? So that's the only thing that you have to be aware of. Like, they're not just gonna lay down, especially on competitive mode. They're gonna keep trying to score. It's gonna be annoying and stupid. Once you get the ball back from either a fumble or interception or whatever, you're just gonna, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna uh, run the ball like two or three yards and drop on the ground. Run the ball two or three times and drop on the ground. That's pretty much what you're gonna do. All right, so right here, we pick the ball. We're just gonna lay on the ground. And then we can actually just take knees if you wanna do that also. And just make sure it's on shoe clock. Go down, formation, special teams. Go to the left. Bam, QB kneel. We'll just take some knees. Uh, 40, 40, 40. We'll get it down to about a minute. Well, less than a minute it should be. And then we'll go right into the fourth. And this is how you would complete it. And, you know, generally, if you're not trying to accumulate yards, nitrate lane is done. There's no reason to, unless you're labbing something and you want to see if it's going to work in competitive mode. But I don't really know if you're still labbing right now. Like, why is he laying on that guy's back like that? What, what, what's going on? I don't even know what that was. That was weird. I don't know what happened like that, but whatever. And then obviously on fourth down, if you take a knee, it's going to be a turnover. So you could take a field goal. You could let them get the ball back. I, I myself, I just run a play and see what happens. Um, if I get into the end zone, I get into the end zone. If I don't, it doesn't matter. They have the ball back where they are, and, it, and then life goes on. We just lock up again. All right, so we're going to run a play right here. We'll come, why not? Why not run more pitch? Let's run more pitch. Wind it down a little bit. And then either way, like I said, we're going to flip the play to the right. You can just go ahead and hike it and see what happens. But the computer generally, they, they don't usually, if I wanted to juke or anything, I could have gotten to the end zone. But it is what it is. All right. So they got 53 seconds left. They're going to be more geared to pass. You're going to come out, play excellent pass defense, and you're going to lock up. And then this game should be over shortly. And that's pretty much what it is. Now, as far as how many eggs you guys should actually have right now during this promo, it's going to vary. Because I don't know if you guys, um, you, if you guys would get, if you guys were eligible to get most of the stuff at the start. Because like I think they gave us like a starter pack, and I don't know if they still give it to you if you just, I don't know. EA is weird like that. Maybe they do if you log in later. But I got one free egg or something like that. So that's probably the only difference I'm gonna have from you. Um, you know, with all with, with all the secret stuff is that's probably the only difference is gonna be like by one egg. Everything else I found through silver tokens. 
gold tokens and the solos and inside the store okay so that's pretty much what it is if you guys are asking again what i did with the eggs i have a video showing you um i used them to make tortoises and then i sold my tortoise uh captain for 500 and something k i don't know some, something along those lines um the video is available there so what's going on here how are they blocking everybody what's this night train what are you doing fumble the ball uh, it doesn't really matter the clock's gonna wind down to about 10 on this what is it third down third and three good 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 and you just keep hurrying up and clicking it and try to get through it and like i said I, this is the only thing that i have an issue with with ea is them giving us full games for easter like bro like what do you you think guys have time to be try, trying to get it for two eggs though like w what's the deal with this and um what's going to happen right now is the cpu is going to go for it because it's going to be you know whatever but it's going to wind down so they're going to go for it then you should stop them but if you don't it doesn't really matter you know what i'm saying you should be able to you know hold them off from getting a touchdown and that's pretty much how it's going to end out with the game usually you shouldn't have issues um you know taking care of the cpu so like i said regardless of where you are right now with it is the promo worth it more than likely i will tell you yes because you're going to be able to make a decent amount of coin just by trading in you know the stuff that you get for free even when you do the original solos and you get your eggs or you get your tortoises or whatever that is you can do you can trade those in uh into the uh the cap the captain set the tortoise captain set and you need 35 of them to get the uh, the tortoise champion that's going to go for like 500k i'm not sure what they're going for right now though but when i sold it earlier it was about 500 um it might have come down a little bit maybe it didn't but either way the eggs are going to be valuable because you can make you know 11k per two eggs you know what i'm saying or you could trade it in and, and get lucky and try to do a scramble and see if you get 2 to 15k which in my opinion doesn't make any sense just trade every two eggs in and you know get your tortoises sell them for 11 11k um if you're doing it for the first time and you did all the solos you should only have to spend about 90 to 100k to make about um i'm not gonna field goal to make about 300 400k you know what i'm saying like you should be able to net something from this promo you should be able to successfully net at least 350 to 400 K from this promo. All right. So if you, if you're done with all the eggs and everything like that, and you feel like everything is already all set with you, you don't need to proceed to keep on playing the solos or whatever. If you got everything you needed to get out of it. But if you didn't, I will urge you to at least complete that set once with the tortoises and use the eggs to trade in, to get one tortoise for every two eggs. All right. So the only reason I'm doing it is just to, you know, I'm going to keep getting my tortoises, bro. Like, why not? They're free. You're making 10K each time. It's not a big deal, except for these solos, bro. Like, just using the token and getting it is a lot easier than having to play a three-minute solo against the CPU. Like, this is just stupid and, and a waste of time. They should have just done moments and made you have to do something. And I think I need to urge them to start doing that for the holidays. Like, just, just let us get moments because we have time that we need to spend with our families. And it's like, yo, what you doing? Oh, yeah, I'm doing an Easter egg hunt with EA. Like, yo, you're a grown man, though. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm ashamed. Like, bro, it's really, really ridiculous. All right, guys? So now that we've gone through all of that, I'm going to just show you really quickly what I've got. You're going to see, what is it, like a two, you get two eggs for it? All right, so you get a two egg pack, and then I'm going to show you really quickly what I was talking about with the trade-in for it so that we're all aware of what's going on, and then you guys can go ahead and do what you need to do, all right, and have a happy Easter. So here we go right here. The upgrade sets, you're going to go over here with the Easter scramble. You're going to look to the right, and then here we go. You could do the Easter scramble pack with one, one, and then you could possibly get a tortoise or they're going to give you 2K every time, or you could just use two eggs and get one tortoise. Okay. Now with the tortoise, like I said, you're going to want to do this, the tortoise champion with 35 of them. If you start getting a decent amount. And then after that, when you go here, if you want to check the prices of them, you can see how, how much the tortoises are going for the tortoise champions. They're, they're very pricey. They're at 542. So it's worth it. All right. Once you, once you start getting yourself geared up to do it, right now the prices have gone up. It's worth it. All right, so that's all the information. Feel free to go back to my previous videos to pick up where, you know, if you want more information about the eggs, what I did with mine, the, what, what I did with my set, how I got it done. Everything is all available for you right here. There is no need for you to go anywhere else. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys or ask politely to share it for somebody that might need it. Let's get a video view goal of about 15,000 views. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Enjoy your Easter. Happy holidays. G Myers World. One love.